This is News 13 at 11, and even though hurricane season is almost over, hurricane strength winds still blow right here in the Carolinas. Right, but these are good winds. New at 11, Chief Meteorologist Frank Johnson is here to explain. Frank? You know, we've certainly seen what strong winds can do, and a new research facility in Chester County hopes to reduce losses during natural disasters. Last month, I went to the grand opening of this facility, and there you don't have to wait for a hurricane to study its winds. A new wind research facility opened right here in South Carolina last month. This giant building with 105 high power fans can create category three hurricane force winds strong enough to blow down a house. I would argue that this facility puts South Carolina at the middle, the hub, the center, whatever you want to call it, of building science. There is no other lab like this anywhere in the world. This one of a kind lab was built by the Institute for Business and Home Safety to study how wind damages houses and then how we can build them stronger. The experiments performed in this facility are amazing. These are the two houses before the hurricane force winds. The house on my left, the gray house, is just standard building codes. This is a normal house, and this is the house that's going to sustain the most damage from the winds. House on my right, the yellow house, this one has been specially fortified with extra strapping to protect it against hurricane force winds. As winds climb past hurricane force, both houses sustain cosmetic damage. Shingles fly off, siding tears away, and windows can break. But when the winds top 100 miles per hour, the unfortified house cannot hold on. The ultimate goal of this facility is to destroy structures, houses and commercial structures in the name of science. So as we watch structures come apart piece by piece in slow motion and high definition video, we can learn better how to put them together and keep them together, how to build better, how to retrofit stronger so that families and their homes, communities, businesses are safer. The result of this research is the Fortified for Safer Living program, which uses inexpensive improvements to make houses much harder to blow down. The Fortified program generally encompasses the high wind provision and also the seismic provision. Therefore, the house is constructed from the foundation all the way to the roof with increased um, engineering. Um, and so in the event we do have a natural disaster, there'll be very little damage to that home. A fortified house costs between 4 and 8 percent more to build than a regular house, but you recoup that money quickly with lower insurance rates. Plus, you live in a much safer house. South Carolina's building codes are among the toughest in the nation. Houses along the Grand Strand must be built to withstand 130 mile per hour winds. The non-fortified home that collapsed during this experiment was built with much weaker Illinois building codes, and that house failed at 105 miles per hour. The fortified house that was left standing after the experiment is designed to withstand 150 mile per hour winds. And these fortified houses are already being built in the Carolinas. And as this new wind research facility continues to blow buildings down, right here in South Carolina, new, less expensive ways to protect our houses against a hurricane's fury will be discovered. And a lot of the building codes are really tough right along the immediate coast. One of the goals of that facility is to get building codes stronger inland areas because hurricane force winds can go well inland too. As well wow. we've seen with Hugo and some other storms. Yeah, they had 90 mile an hour winds in Charlotte with that storm with Hugo. That was really impressive video, Ama watching those two houses. The difference is incredible. Yeah, and it's really a huge building. It's an amazing facility and it's just a couple hours away right here in South Carolina. Well, very 